Alright guys, so for this part of the tutorial, we're just going to be working on the surface details. So things like uh, these little um, cutout pieces you see here, uh, some of this detail here, um, some of it here, and uh, the detail here. I do the lines on this pipe as well, but this is stuff that you guys have already seen like uh, when I did it here on the last video. We're just going to be doing the same thing, so we're just going to select the surface and this may be something i might just time lapse just uh it's you know kind of rudimentary you guys don't really need to see me do this uh, we've done it all before in the previous videos but you know i might do the first couple and then uh go from there so what you want to do is just select the surface go to create sketch and these are all uh, linear shapes so we're just going to grab that line tool and we'll just start outlining these uh, from the reference. Now I know that they're all relatively the same height, so what I'll do is just select a point and go across. And I'll just move this up a bit. And I'll duplicate this line by selecting it and hitting Control C, Control V. Grab this top arrow and just drag this down to match the bottom one. And grab that line tool once again, and I'll just start to connect this here. On the back ends. Now I can grab the line tool and just start to connect these in this way. And what I'll do is, so I don't have to keep worrying about doing the same ones over and over, I'll select one going to the right and one going to the left. And what I can now do is select it, control C, control V, copy paste, and I'll just slide it where I need to slide it to. And I'm just control V at this point and just grab the next line. Once I'm satisfied, I'll right click, hit OK, control V once again, slide this over. And everything we're doing is all repetitive, so it's just going to create an automatic in your head so you automatically know what to do. Now we're going to need to do this side, so we're just going to grab this one we already created, control C, control V. And you're going to get used to doing this. Control V, paste this. And what we'll do on this one, oh, we need one more here. So we'll just select the insides. We could easily trim off this access area, but we don't really need to. It's just good practice if you're not familiar with this. And we're just gonna bring it in a little bit. So I'll right click, press pull, and I'll bring it in slightly. Go to cut. I have those shapes cut out. We can turn off this canvas so we can actually see what we just did. And once we start making this into a low poly model, uh, we'll have this detail baked on here. And we won't have to worry about it for the low poly. So we'll do the same thing for this section. But this one, they round it off. So we could round these off if we want to, or we could just exclude them. So I might time lapse this. And for this one, what we will do is trim off the access areas. So once you're done cutting all these access areas and we just have these shapes here exposed, what we'll do is hit the fillet tool here, right here. We'll grab these corners. Once you're satisfied, right click, hit OK. Now we can select the shapes. We'll just bring it in a bit. Cut. Now we have those shapes. Turn back on our canvas. And what we can do is start doing this area. Or we could do the pipe area here. I'll, I'll, I think I'll start with this area. So 
so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select this this edge and I'm going to go to create pipe once again. And let's go back to the right view and let's turn on our canvas. And now we know that we need to make this a lot smaller, it's way too big. So this looks fine. Let's change it from cut to new body. And we'll go to the bodies drop down if it's not already dropped down. And our uh, last body on the bottom, what we're going to do is right click on this and we're going to move this and we want to position this to match this one here on the reference and what we'll do now is create a pattern and we could always just copy paste this and duplicate it but you know that's uh that's how nerds do it <laughs> so go to create pattern on path change it from faces to bodies and select our body which would be that ring and the path will be we could use this line here oh no actually not that line because it's going in the opposite direction so we could choose this line here on the top. And it's just a guideline, so it's just a reference point. We'll match this to the reference and we'll add one more. So we can have four. Change the um, hit OK once you're finally ready to confirm that operation. Now we can go to combine. And we're going to combine this main tube with these pieces we just created. One, two, three, four. Change the operation from join to cut, hit OK, and voila. It's like magic, baby. Let's turn off this canvas so we can see this a bit better. Looks good. Looks really good. Now we could add this detail. I think I, I should just add this detail this cut going through this piece but I think I'll save it till after we finish this area so what I want to do with this it's gonna be unique I'm going to create a sketch on this surface here and what I like to do is use the two-point rectangle tool from this corner here to here then I'll grab the fillet Tool. and I'll grab these corners and I'll dial this arrow back so we can match the reference and once we're satisfied we're just going to right click hit OK go to finish sketch and let's go to create pipe and let's make this a lot smaller something like this looks fine and we'll just go back to the right view so we can see this that looks fine I think I'll make it a little bit bigger add a little bit more depth somewhere around here let's hit cut so you guys understand later on this is significant because once we start baking our maps in substance painter and to make this game ready version this would be really useful so let's select this surface once again, go to create sketch. And we know that these are slots. So what we'll do is go to create slot. We do center to center slot. So right about here to here. Let's drag this out. And we could easily just, you know, select this by double clicking control C control V duplicate this go down you know and match this up this way but I want to make a habit of uh, doing things the correct way if it's uh you know evenly proportioned so we'll go to the create drop down select rectangular pattern like we did in the previous video double click to select the entire um, profile then we'll just go down three times so now it's evenly spaced once we have that we can create a pipe out of all three of these after we finish sketch or we can extrude these inwards or extrude them out I think for the sake of this tutorial I'll bring these out just a tad bit to add some more uh, depth and complexity to the model because if everything is just cut out of it it just wouldn't wouldn't sell as good now we have those three shapes there and we can add a fillet to this later on to give it some more depth and actually, I'll turn off this 
canvas and I'll do that right now. So I'll hit F on the keyboard and I'll grab the top edge, the one on top. And I'll round this off here. That looks good. Now let's turn back on that canvas. Let's go to create a sketch once again. And now we can start outlining this primary uh, cutout here. And I'll just use the line tool and I'll exclude this rounded off surface. And notice how I'm um, purposely avoiding the rounded surfaces because I'm just going to go to fill it later on and fill it those. And I'll just drag this down to make this a bit better. So once I start adding my fillets, so I'll go here and I'll right click, hit OK, finalize that, go back up to fill it, and I can start rounding off some of these as well. And to repeat that last action, I can just right click and go up to fill it. And I'll right click, go back to fill it, and I'll do these two edges here. Now what I can do is go to finish sketch and go to create pipe. And I can select it all as one. Once I have them all selected, I can then just dial this in. Once I'm satisfied, hit cut. Now back in the right view, that looks great. Now I was gonna save some of this detail at the bottom, but why not just, I can knock it out in this video. I'll hit create sketch, select the 2D background. And for this, I will use the two point rectangle so I don't have to go through and do this again. So from this top left corner, of the reference to about here. And what I'll do is grab the trim tool and I'll just trim off this bottom line. So I have this arc. And what I can do from now is go to uh, modify split body, select this body. Splitting tool will be this line I just created. Hit OK. Now, if I toggle this off, you'll see that they're no longer involved in that relationship. And this is going to be significant for uh, the next video. Once I start adding some detail here, I'll have a nice little inset and offset to this. So if I wanted to, I can press pull this. And actually, I do want to point out what just happened, right? So it's thinking, and these two are, uh, they're, they're stuck together. The history is locked in together. So to affect these separately, what I want to do is uh, control C, control V to duplicate that body. And for the original body, I'm going to remove this. Now, if I right click on this face, press pull, they're no longer, you know, combined in the sense of um, the history. So I'll grab this bottom piece and I'll offset this as well. And this adds that manufacturer detail to it because if it was all one piece, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't sell as a, um, you know, a modified um, weapon. It would just look like it's a toy. <laughs> And these are kind of details that you need, you know. And I'll do the same for the top area because I've seen this as well. And maybe this video is a bit longer than I wanted it to, but overall we would have needed to do this at some point, so why not just do it now? So I'm going to go to Modify, Split Body. I'm going to grab that line we just created. And like we saw before, and I'll just turn off this canvas so you can see what was going wrong press pull this and I, I told you guys it's locked together and that's why this happens because somewhere in the coding it knows that these two are they were meant to be together <laughs> I know it sounds a bit funny so let me hit cancel I'm going to highlight over this section so I know which one to delete and copy so body 160 control C control V to duplicate that and body 160 I'm going to remove now he can be a bachelor. He can move on his own individually without being uh, interrupted. So 
I can just press pull these to offset these. And later on, when I start adding a lot more detail, we will start adding fillets and uh, making this look a bit more intricate. But for now, I think this is good. So if I turn the canvas back on, is there anything else I need to do right now? I don't know. I could add these uh, this detail here from these slots. But, um, yeah. I think it's a good time to add some of this detail here on the kickstands here on the tripod. So what we'll do is, like we did before, we'll create a pipe out of this one. Create pipe, select this ring. And what I'll do is, I don't know if I wanna make it thicker. This is, that's good detail. This is a fine size. We'll just change from cut to new body, hit okay. Go back to the right view and the last body, which is that new ring we created, we'll just select it, control, I don't know if I'm gonna move it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll right click and go to move and I'll just move this down here. And this is an instant where you will wanna duplicate it because if you add a pattern, this isn't evenly spaced, right? So for this, we're just gonna select the body, control C, control V to duplicate that. And we'll duplicate that one more time by hitting Control V. Now what we want to do is go to Combine, combine the main body with three bodies at the bottom. One, two, three, which would be these rings. And the operation is set to cut, hit OK. Now we have that detail there. But I also noticed that this should be a little bit thinner, right? So what I'm gonna do is split this. So I'll go to create, select the 2D background or the plane so we can start creating a sketch on this level. I'll use the line tool and create a line. It doesn't matter how long the line is because like I mentioned in the past videos, lines are infinite. So I'll hit Control C, Control V to duplicate this line. Now hit OK, hit finish sketch. Now I'm gonna to go to modify, split body. I'm gonna split this body by these two lines. So once you have the body selected, which is this main kickstand for the tripod, you're gonna to go to splitting tool. The splitting tool will be these two lines and hit okay. But before I hit okay, I wanna let you guys see what's going on. We split bodies before, so if you guys are just joining now, you wanna see what's going on. It creates a cut throughout the whole entire body. So we might get that same issue where we try to press pull and it might not work. So let's right click and test this out. Press pull and it's actually able to pull out. And we wanna extrude this to add some more intricacy to this, um, this kickstand. So this looks fine. Let's go to the right view and see how it looks. Looks okay. And I do wanna make this area smaller because if it's one size all the way around, it will work, but it's just, it won't sell good. So I'll make this smaller. Offset that. And I will hit F to enter fillet mode. And I'm gonna round off these harsh, sharp corners on this area. So this looks good right here. It looks more realistic. And I think we're gonna end the video here. I don't wanna linger on too long and uh, you guys get overwhelmed. So let's turn off the canvas and see what we have so far. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please consider giving this video a like. It helps for the analytics. Leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.